reason the former Aston Villa striker Dalian Atkinson has died after a taser was fired at him by police in Shropshire. Officers were called to his father's home in Telford in the early hours of the morning after they were alerted about concerns for the safety of a man. The 48-year-old suffered a cardiac arrest as he was taken to hospital. The Independent Police Complaints Commission is investigating the incident, as Sean Lloyd now reports. For more than 16 years, Dalian Atkinson was a household name in Premier League football. The striker played for a number of clubs, but is perhaps best known for his time at Aston Villa and this memorable performance against Wimbledon in 1992, earning him match of the day goal of the season. He was well known in this quiet cul-de-sac on the outskirts of Telford, where he frequently visited his father. Police arrived at his home at half past one this morning. Officers were responding to a call from someone concerned about a man's safety. West Mercia police today confirmed that a taser had been used. 48-year-old Dalian Atkinson died 90 minutes after police were called to the house. Paramedics said he suffered a heart attack on his way to hospital. Paula Quinn lives in a flat overlooking the street. She told me what she saw happen. Gentleman actually physically be tasered. I saw him hit the ground. I, I saw all the events after it. She then went on to make this claim. The police officers that were there, the only ones that were there, um, sort of scrambled in towards him and started kicking him around the body um, and shouting and I couldn't they were shouting and kicking so much, that's all I can hear is the boots hitting him. We haven't found anyone else who said they saw anything similar. The Independent Police Complaints Commission is carrying out a full investigation, it said including any use of force. Dalian Atkinson's nephew arrived later this afternoon. He told us his uncle had recently been diagnosed with kidney problems and was undergoing dialysis. The family are trying to come to terms with what's happened. It's inevitably angry, frustrated, annoyed, disappointed, uh, overwhelmed. What, what are the questions that are going around in your head well, today? Well, because the damage is done, so you've got to try and um, develop preventatives through this for example that's why I say if as soon as they deploy a taser you've got to deploy an ambulance. Police tasers were first introduced in 2003 as an alternative to the use of lethal force. Since then it's been found their use played a significant or material part in the deaths of two men. The Independent Police Complaints Commission says it's currently investigating four cases where a taser was used prior to death. What happened here will also be investigated by the police watchdog after the case was voluntarily referred by the West Mercia force. It will be for an inquest to decide whether the taser played a significant part in the former footballer's death. Tonight, Dalian Atkinson's former teammate at Aston Villa paid him this tribute. He's larger than life. He's one of the big characters at the football club when I was there. Um, I got to the football club and Dalian was the one that stuck out first because he was a big, big personality, always had a, a lot to say, but he was a very funny, funny guy as well. Many questions are being asked about what happened last night. It will be many months before those questions are answered. Sean Lloyd, BBC News, Telford.